if you can get a backside and front image of your character, judges will love you. G'day everyone and welcome back to another Catch Up with Kiralee. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kiralee and on this channel we talk about all things cosplay, costuming and sewing related. And today we're going to discuss something that has been asked a whole lot to me and that is to share my build book on TOF. So recently I was fortunate enough to take out the title of Australian Champion at the Australian Prelim at PAX in Melbourne for the Cosplay Central Crown Championships. And since then I have had a lot of people very interested in knowing, you know, what my build book was like. And I think I come from a pretty unique kind of situation, or well, not too unique to be honest, but I have found it very helpful to have come from a competitive point of view, like someone who enters the cosplay competition and gives over the build book, and as a judge who receives the build books and looks over them. And I have learnt from both sides of that coin. And with that knowledge, I now make my build books the way that as a judge, I would like to receive them. And I'll share that with you today. And after I go through the build book, I'll share some like key tips and tricks that I use when building a build book. So let's go through the Toph build book first. Here it is in all of its glory. <laughs> so this is the cover page. Now, some people may ask, well, why haven't you got a photo of you on the front? And that is for a very simple reason. When I walk into the, the, the judging room, the first thing that the judges see is me and my costume and then I give them my build book with the front cover closed. They immediately see my reference image and me standing there. Because if you just give them a photo of yourself, they're like, yeah, I'm seeing that. And then they have to start flicking through to find your reference image. And honestly, I want them looking at me. I don't want them looking at my build book all that much right at that moment. So let's just flick through and I'll go through everything <laughs> as we get to it. So here on the front page, I've got my reference images. So this bottom one has been covered because of the fact that it's a patrons only exclusive by Sunset Dragon and it has her front and back kind of image. So I have covered that up because it's behind a very specific paywall and to be honest, the artist deserves all the money. So that's why I've done that. <laughs> also, I have put clearly my cosplay name, the character, the series and who the designer is. So there you go. This this image is for public use and I've covered up that which I paid for. So moving on, we open it up and we go through. And so I start with my my shorts and my um, my pants. Then I go through my bodice and a little bit about my sleeves as well. Uh, and then, oh, and the loincloth as well. Then we have the corset, the jacket, the van braces, the armor and the jewelry, and then the headpiece and the wig and the rock prop. And then finally, we have the reference images. You can go ahead and pause at any point in time if you wanna read through all the bits and pieces, but I'm gonna kind of show them off anyway as I'm going through these tips and tricks. So let's start off with the first tip, and that is the length. I honestly, I get it. I absolutely get it. As a competitor, you may want to show every little bit of detail that you did for this cosplay. I absolutely get it. I have submitted a build book into a competition that was 32 pages long. Don't recommend that. As a judge, I have received a build book that is over a hundred pages long. As a judge, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not reading that. I don't have the time to go through a hundred, 150 pages worth of information. The best thing you can do is keep it short and sharp and to the point. Now keep in mind that Toph took me months to create, five months of like working on her pretty much full-time hours and I got it down to eight pages. I think the key, the key is to have a build book that is between six and 12 pages long. 
that is kind of a good kind of ratio for the judges to kind of use anything more than 12 pages you're probably going to start losing us we're not necessarily going to read everything that you put in there or look at everything and the other thing is is always read the rules of the competition because the rules may state how long the build book needs to be and keep to it i think six to twelve pages long is not too short and not too long it's that sweet honey spot the next thing about build books is to use a lot of clear photographs and i mean this i mean this from the bottom of my heart less text is going to work in your favor so the more that you can show me rather than tell me i'm going to appreciate that as a judge so here i have a lot of photos and i have a little bit of like a blurb down or next to it and honestly to be honest i probably have written too much here if you can do things in dot points judges will love you i know that i struggle because i want to like tell you everything and just because of Toph and the types of fabrics and they were all very similar in the photographs, I felt like I needed to explain what like fabrics and what materials I was using and what I was doing in there. Just, you know, just because I wanted to explain myself. But realistically, when you're in the judging room, you're going to be explaining that anyway. This is mostly for them to refer to after the fact, you know, and you've left that judging room if they're discussing different competition um, pieces and that sort of thing. So yes, this is kind of like a, your backup, if you like, uh, except the reference image because they're gonna be looking at the reference image while you're standing in front of them. That's why I have it on the front. But you can see, once again, lots and lots of photos, especially the rock prop, um, because I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna show you that I did the um, kind of first Iter iteration of it um, and you know that was my my mock-up so to speak and I learned a lot from doing that and then how I constructed it at the final piece down here and then of course on the back I have my final images that have literally zero text because I should not be explaining here is my finished look <laughs> the third point is in relation to your reference image and your finished pictures now there are a few ways that you can do this. You can either have your finished images and your reference images on the same page, or you can have them kind of one after another. For me, what I like to do is I always like to make my build books in sets of four, eight or 12 pages. Uh, four if it's like a really, really minimal kind of build book. Some cosplay competitions are like, you have four pages, that's it. Um, they're far and few between, but I have seen them. And that is because if I can get it is a four, eight or 12, it means that I can print it out in this booklet style. So it is simply two A3 sheets of paper that are, are printed back and front in color. And then it's this booklet. And what it means is that when you open it up in the, like this, and you've got the front cover and the back cover, you've got the reference images, and then you've got the finished look. So you can see right here, there you go. Not too shabby. <laughs> that's what I like to do. I think it works. I, I That's just a little something that I picked up as a judge, and I definitely try to do that in each of my different build books now. But that only works if you do it on page one and page eight or page one and page 12 and you print it out like this. Tip number four is section out your build book. And what I mean by that is this page is your pants. This page is your bodice. Here's your loincloth. Here is the sleeve. Here is the corset, here is the jacket, here are the van braces and the toeless boots because they were constructed the same way. Here you have the armor, the bangles, the jewelry, and then the headpiece, the wig, and the rock prop. And the reason why this is important is because you could be working on lots of different things at the same time. And if you try to just shove everything together, the judge is not going to be able to follow your process. So it's very important that you separate it into specific categories. So your dress, your armor, you know, your wig, make sure that it's easy for someone who has never seen your cosplay before 
to follow the process of that particular part of the cosplay from start to finish. It can get tricky, <laughs> especially when you have been working, you know, I did a little bit on the pants and then I worked on the bodice and then I did the armor and I also did the mock-up for the rock prop. Like I did a whole lot of things at the same time, but I made sure that when I was building, you know, my pieces, I was taking individual photos as much as I could of these parts separate so that when I got to the build book, I could actually separate them into their individual units. The fifth tip is references. So it's very important to have your references on one page or if it's like an if it's on like the second and third page that they are across the same page. You don't want to have too many pages of your references, but also you want to show as much of the reference images that you can to showcase all the different angles. It's really, really important that you do this so that the judges can judge you on your back, your side and your front. If you can get a backside and front image of your character, judges will love you. In this case, I only had the front and the back, but it was pretty clear to see what the side would look like. So it worked. <laughs> I also had a very, very clear reference image because the um, front and back was incredibly clear. But on that note, make sure that every reference that you're using is consistent because honestly if you were going to give a judge multiple different versions of your character and saying oh yeah this is my main source but like also i'm taking elements of this one i'd be like well why don't you just do this one basically if you can make it as clear as possible what you created please do so. I have been in situations where as a judge, I have been presented with these um, character designs, one being a art book version and some being like in game. And the colors are completely different. And, you know, you could say, well, I decided to go with the art book version, but um, I wanted to do like the colors of the art book but the design of the, of the game, I'm just like, well, why didn't you just do the game? Like, you know, it, it's a case of, well, how am I meant to judge you on that? Because some of the colors you've used are from this and some of the colors you've used is from this one. Just make it easy for the judges. You don't want the judges trying to dissect which parts you did where, because if they're dissecting something, it's probably not gonna work in your favor. Tip number six, and this one I see a fair bit and as a judge, I'm sorry to say, I don't care. So what I see is that people will write a long paragraph about, you know, this cosplay and what they learned and how much it meant to them and, um, you know, why this is their favorite character. Like that's warm and heartfelt and sweet, but in a judging room, I don't care. I really, really don't care. I'll, I'll care if you're telling me, yeah, I learned this specific thing for this cosplay. That's great. Tell me just in person. You don't need to put it in your build book because what that does is it takes up space, space that could be utilized elsewhere. And I'm just not going to read it. Like I'm honestly not going to read it. And as much as this may, you know, may not sit well with people, I'm going to be real honest with you. Judges who are looking at craftsmanship are not going to give you extra points because you've decided to do a character that means something very important to you. That's great, it does. It meant that it gave you drive, but as a judge, we, we can't score you against that. So we don't care. <laughs> Similarly, I mean, I used to count all of my hours of how long it took me to make a cosplay. I don't now. I will tell you roughly how many months it took me to make. Um, because at the end of the day, if a cosplay took you one month to make and it's absolutely insane versus it took you a year to make and it's the same, same level, I, I don't care. I don't care as a judge whether it was made in a month or a year. If it's the same quality, that's what I'm looking at. 
you can have those bragging rights. It's absolutely fine, have those bragging rights. Once again, it doesn't come into the scoring, so it doesn't really matter. But I will genuinely be interested how long it took people to make cosplays. <laughs> Just because I like going, yeah, I can see that that took you that long. <laughs> and tip number seven, design is amazing. When you're putting your build book together, if you wanna do it in Canva, or if you've got a natural designer flair, go for it, do it. I personally don't. So I like to keep mine as white and as clear as possible and make sure that it's easy to follow, easy to read. Here's the image, here's the text that goes with those images. That's basically the rule of thumb that I go with. Even if you are not a designer, make it easy for the judges to understand what pictures go with what text and just make sure that your design and your layout supports that. In short, you want your build book to be something that showcases your work and is easy for the judges to follow and understand and to get through as quickly as possible because the judges may be dealing up to, you know, 50 contestants or 50 entries, which could be groups as well. You want your build book to stand out for the right reasons and those right reasons should be to do with your cosplay itself. You don't want it to stand out because it was the one that was hard to read or it was insanely long. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed looking at the little glimpse of my Toph build book. In the comments, please let me know what your thoughts are on build books and what other tips and tricks you might have that you wish to share. Please make sure that you like, subscribe and all of that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.